Today, I will teach you about the Fibonacci sequence. That sequence includes the numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on in that order. You might wonder, how did I get these numbers? Well, I got them using a recursive formula. And that recursive formula, which is called the Fibonacci sequence, is exactly what I'm going to teach you today. Here I come. So, N and Fn. I usually do N first. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I think that's the limit. Or I can do probably more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16 is going to be the last one. Kind of. Or I could do 17, and that's it. So that's it. So the first one is, is 1, because 1 plus 0 equals 1. Usually, I, I know there is an F0. So, uh, so, so that's... That's also, 2 is also 1 because it's added by the previous numbers, 1 plus 0, which is 1, so, so, and then we get 2 because 1 plus 1 equals 2, then we get 3 because 1 plus 2 equals 3, and, and so on, with 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and blah, blah, blah. Fifteen is six ten. Sixteen is is nine hundred and eighty seven, and the seventeenth is we don't know. So now let's use the recursive equation. So F n equals to F n minus one plus F n minus two. So do you know what n is? Well, look on top of the question mark. It's seventeen. So, so n equals 17. So that is f17 equals to f17 minus 1 plus f17 minus 2. f17 equals to f16 because 17 minus 1 is 16 plus f17 minus 2, which is f17 f equals to 6, 10 plus, 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 uh, 987. I like to arrange it like that. 1,597 is, is the 15th number. Oh, uh, I probably will need some more space for this one. 1,597. Wow, a pretty big number, isn't it?